Howdy, everybody, uh, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, what are we doing? Well, we left off with getting the four trees, the uh, gravel tree, the clay tree, the bone tree, and um, the petrified tree. So, we made a lot of progress last video, and let's see if we can make some more. When I am, uh, ooh, I need food. Just realized. I need to cook some dirt. So, one of the things that um, I'm doing right now is, is I am... That is not the right thing. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grow these trees because I don't have enough of their materials. Like, I don't have backup saplings, so if I, like, fall off the world or, you know something goes horribly wrong, then, yeah, I should be able to have all my stuff, get it all back. Uh, shit. Okay, well, everyone, um, yeah, I got some bad news. Uh, we broke the bone tree, and we didn't get any bone saplings. Uh, yeah, so that means that we are going to have to make another tree. Uh, why is my luck so bad? So yeah, that's uh, this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing, making because somehow I got zero saplings. I know, ridiculous. Okay, so now we have another bone sapling. Um, you know, so yeah, that that was honestly just incredibly unlucky that I was mined a tree and literally did not get a single sapling. But I mean, it is, it is possible. It's just really unfortunate. But yeah, we can get it. It's just unfortunate that we didn't. Okay, so we did get uh, another bone sapling, which is lovely. We actually have one sitting right there. Uh, so yeah, we did get, we got two bone saplings, so, yeah, I, it was just really unlucky that that happened. That's what it kind of boils down to, is that I just got the shit end of the stick. But it's fine, we made our progress back, um, in a pretty short amount of time. Honestly, with mod packs like this, the biggest, like point of this mod pack is just learning how to do everything, learning how to make everything, you know, learning how everything goes together. Once you start getting a feel for the mod pack, it, it starts getting a lot easier. Like using this bone risin and uh, using the bone acorns and kind of making like the next tier out of those blocks is generally what you do, you know? This time, last time gravel involved water, which is something new, but either way, it has to do with the actual block that the tree makes. So, we can definitely use that going forward. So, yeah, I will, uh, I'll get back to you guys whenever I have a pretty decent amount of this, uh, these materials. Oh, another thing that I did was, is I separated all of the chests, uh, based on what tree they actually are involved with. Um, the reason I did this was because a lot of the, like, Ryzen and Acorns are starting to look similar. So, it'd be really annoying to try to find, like, you know, a petrified acorn versus a gravel acorn, um... And so I decided to separate these just so they don't, you know, blend in so it's a little easier to actually find everything, which I just think is a good idea. So that's kind of why these aren't double chests, they're just single, is so uh, I can just stuff everything into it. And it's a little more organized, easier to find, just kind of makes my life easier. Okay, so... One of the things that we did was, is we created this uh, infinite water source. The reason that we didn't last time was because we didn't have enough... You have to have a, cu a cauldron that's actually completely full. 
1,000 uh, MB, and we weren't getting that, so I was scared of running out of water, so I created more cauldrons. Uh, but now that we had one filled up with uh, all of this rain, we were able to get a infinite water source. So yeah, now I am going to be scattering that around my base. Okay, note to self, I cannot waterlog in this update. So the reason I'm scattering this around is it's just in case I fall, mainly. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't make things look bad, and it doesn't hurt. I don't think I will be falling off anytime soon, but if I do, might as well. So. You know, if I couldn't create an infinite water source, I definitely wouldn't be doing this. All right, that just disappeared. I definitely wouldn't be doing this, but since I do have an infinite water source and there's not really a point not to, then why don't you, you know? If I do end up falling and I catch myself on the waterfall, then you know what? It was worth it. Just to spend these few seconds just to wrangle all this up. So we have an, uh, we have a decent amount of gravel, um, but we don't have a lot of bone saplings, so that's going to be something that we're going to do. So what is our next objective? Like, what is our next tree that we need to get? Well, our next tree that we're going to get uh, is cotton or wool um, and sand. So how do we get a wool sap? Is it actually a cotton sapling? Or is it a wool sapling? Yeah, it's cotton. Uh, so bone meal vines. That's going to be a new thing. So if I mix a clay sapling with mud, I get a jungle sapling. Okay, okay. So how do we make mud? It's probably going to be like water and... Yep. Water and dirt. So let's go ahead and get our... Oop. Let's go ahead and get our cauldrons. So we got... Okay, and then... Uh, bucket. There we go. And then we need one piece of dirt. There we go. So then we can create a mud sapling. Yep, and then what is it? Whoops. So a jungle sapling is a clay sapling. Let's go ahead and get the jungle sapling. So clay, and then we put one in here. Okay, so now we have a full jungle. Let's put our clay shit away. Uh, we got some clay risin, we got some dirt, gravel risin, uh, and we got some bone acorns. Yeah, we definitely are very close to running out of bone shit, but stay lobby, you know? I uh, can't do much about it. So this is where uh, I gotta think. So, yeah, I need a place to grow these big saplings. Whoops, not that. So I need more dirt. I specifically, I specifically need uh, four dirt. So, okay, so while I was doing that, and I'm actually coming back to get wood, I stole a squid fall from our, uh, our waterfalls. So we are going to be able to get black dye. Uh, we can create a small squid farm just by filling an area up with water and then killing them. So I think I may end up doing that in the future. I don't have a use for um, squids as of now. And the main reason is, is there's just nothing I need them for. I cannot create slabs just by putting oak in there, which is bit sad.
so the reason that I'm building this one out so far is because this is going to contain the bigger saplings. Once I get spruce, I'll be able to make a large spruce sapling and the large jungle sapling, hence why we have four. Uh, so this is going to just overall make my life easier. All right, so now that we have this, we can grow the jungle saplings. Um, ooh, I need a stone tool before I get this started. So yeah, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to mine maybe one or two of the large jungle trees, and then I will, uh, I'll go ahead and get other saplings. The one thing that I want to test with you guys here, um, I need to empty this, is I want to see if we can get other vanilla saplings, like these spruce. So what? So wait. The jungle was with... Uh, the jungle was with clay. So what happens if I threw gravel into mud? So generic water doesn't do anything. Alright. Um, small problem. I have no dirt acorns because they are my food source. So, yeah, I'm going to be right back as I go and get these. Okay, so I know what a lot of you are thinking, um, and you're asking yourself, like, why does he want different types of wood? Well, one for decoration, just to make things look a little bit better, you know, and to make things not look like complete ass. Um, but also, you never know, I might need it. It's mainly for decoration, I'm not gonna lie. It's nice to have... I won't be, like, building anything major... I don't think I will be building anything, like, permanent. Uh, I may decorate things a little bit, just because I have new wood types. But I definitely think this is going to be a video mainly about getting different achievements and moving up. Okay, hello, and welcome back, everybody. Um, so one of the things that I did was, obviously, as you can see, I made a spruce sapling. And how you make a spruce sapling is, is you take a petrified sapling and you throw it into the oak cauldron with water in it and you'll get a spruce sapling. So I was able to get that. I did, I just made one spruce and one jungle just because I didn't really need any more. Um, so yeah, the spruce sapling is still disappearing, um, but overall we got what we need. So we are going to make a cottonwood. There we go. So now that we got a cottonwood. Okay, so now that we got a cottonwood, how do we get... No. Wait, what is the next one? Uh, sand. Okay, so we need a sand tree. So how do we make a sand sapling? Well, we need... S we either... How do we make a sand acorn? So, okay, okay, so in the crushing tub, we put a gravel acorn with sap inside of it, and we get a sand acorn. Okay, so we have, we can make seven of them now. Where's my, that's clay, here's gravel. Okay, so we can make seven of them. There we go. some bone acorns so let's go collect our spruce stuff because this tree is still dish and all right our uh, cottonwood tree grew one of the things that I decided on was I decided to use wood tools for now because I didn't have a good way of getting a lot of cobblestone and it was you know while I was doing all of this you know, getting all the stone to build this. You know, I had so much stone already that I could just simply get what I wanted. You know, I could just get a pick super easy, and then, it, you know, that was it. But, as I'm not building my, uh, as I'm not building, you know, anything with cobblestone, I'm realizing that I'm pretty quickly running out of, whoops, 
pretty quickly running out of cobblestone, and it's a pain in the ass to try to constantly go back and forth um, with trying to get the petrified, you know, enough petrified acorns and um, risin in order to make a stone axe. It is better, but it's not good enough for all of that work, so... I ended up just saying fuck it, and we ended up doing this. So, I don't think... I got some cottonwood acorns. I got some string. I don't think we... this is done yet. I thought I saw something drop. Nope. Okay, so... Uh, what was I... oh yeah. What does this bonsai pot do? Okay, so we got a sand acorn. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to test to see what the bonsai pot actually does. Because I, I don't know. Uh, whoops. There we go. Clay acorns. I did this backwards. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I did it backwards. Yeah, I did it backwards. Yeah, clay amber. I don't... Okay, well, we found something new out. There's something called clay amber. It's probably going to be used for a crafting recipe soon. But for right now... I need the, uh, the clay blocks. So I can make the... Bonsai pot. I don't know what it does. It says something about soil and drops. I'm just going to try to put, like, a dirt sapling so maybe I can get some acorns. Maybe. Just go ahead and convert that real fast. We got two cottonwood saplings, so we're going to go ahead and place them down. Oh, I thought they had a different noise than the generic tree. I was like, ooh. Once again, doesn't hurt to just have water everywhere. We're never going to be looking down at the void. If we want to look down at the void, we can just look up. I mean, the sky and the floor are the same thing, so... It's not really, like, a, a problem. It just is a little bit of a safety feature. Alright, well, we got a bunch of cottonwood shit, which is nice. Um, have any more... Something's happening! Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little baby sapling. Oh, isn't that adorable? Isn't that just adorable? Oh, that's adorable. All right, well, we're going to find out what this does. Because I have zero fucking idea what this does. If, what I think it may do is it may give us the drops, but at a slower rate. But if it gives us the drops, we can create a farm. Um, so I'm hoping that it is like a, it gives us all of the drops of the wood sapling. Because we could make a bunch of these, have them dump into water, and then the water would lead like maybe back here or something. Uh, and it would, you know, we could just pick it up, organize it, and then if we didn't want to, we could just dig out the floor and it just falls in the void. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it does. It hasn't dropped anything yet. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, the crushing table! You have to jump on it! I was wondering why it was called a crushing table. Oh my god! <gasps> Alright, so yeah, the crushing table... Is it not a... Is it not? Sand... 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 Sand, um, gravel. Okay, 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 okay. So the crushing table, you actually have to fucking jump on it. 
Oh yeah, this is the cotton wood. Save a cotton. Okay, so is this gravel? No, this is clay. I need gravel. Go ahead and put that away. Uh, gravel. So yeah, what? Why I was getting? Oh, that's so okay. So that's what that does. Oh my god, I'm carrying a bonsai. So, if it does drop something, I need to know. So, if I put it somewhere like... Uh, can you, can you let go? There we go. So yeah, if I put it there... Uh, I kind of want to put a back brace. Just in case it decides to uh, spit something out it won't spit into the void at least hopefully not okay so while well, that does that thing we learned how to use a crushing tub super cool uh oh yeah sand that's what i was doing so i need a petrified a lot of these are petrified this is like the core sapling you just make all of the saplings with one and we got a sand sapling. Let's go. All right, so cottonwood, cottonwood. So now we've got sand. Uh, we don't really need glass or anything, so there's no reason to, like, hardcore mine this, at least yet. We will definitely need uh, sand later, but not now. Do I need to water it? I just thought about that, because, like, real bonsai plants need water. Maybe it's just, like, a, a decoration thing. Whoop! Maybe it's, like, a decoration thing. That's all it does. Ooh, I should learn how to make an oak sapling. So it's a dirt sapling and water. Dirt sapling. We got water. Get in the tub! I'm so glad this is fucking magical water. Dope, so now we have an oak. Okay, we got a sand sapling, so... We're not gonna have any repeats of the fucking bone sapling where we just didn't get anything, because fuck you, that's why. So yeah, the reason that I'm putting all of those saplings in one chest is that is my backup chest. I can take as many saplings as I want out of the, you know, out of any of the chests without giving a shit because this exists, so, like, let's say I use, whoops, let's say I use all of my dirt saplings, right, or I fall off, you know, I, I, since I have the dirt saplings actually in my inventory, what happens if I just jumped off, or I fell off, or, you know, I wouldn't have it anymore, so the good part about having that chest is, is I can carry all of these saplings, and if I fall, I don't have to remake all of my progress, so, one of the reasons that I actually got the oak tree was if the bonsai does what I think it does, then I will actually switch it out for a uh, for an oak tree, because with an oak tree, I can, uh, I can get apples, which will be a better source of food than the dirt acorn, unless they've changed, obviously. Okay, so what is our next tree? Um, coal. Tin man, obtain tin amber. Not really sure how to get tin amber, but it's required to make the tin. Ooh, I can make a bed. That'd actually be some. That'd be nice. Um. Okay, so the reason that I'm putting these uh, uh, cottonwood leaves on the uh, drying rack is because they will actually give me string. So that'll that'll allow me just to make a lot of wool just because I kind of already had a wooden shear, so I just used it till it broke. In all honesty, I didn't do so. One, and then two, and then we can grab this. We can grab some wood, and we can make a bed.
da 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 All right. I can only sleep at night. And we're gonna move on to the coal sapling. Uh, where is the coal? Coal sapling is very dark. Smelt a birch tree. Interesting, to say the least. How do I make a birch tree? Uh, sand tree and water. It seems to be a- water seems to be a very common medium. I'm only gonna do one, because I only have one tree. Oh, no, I need my clay. My clay bucket! There we go. And then we got a birch slap- slapling. Oh! Why did I do... what? Oh! Okay, 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 guys, 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 guys. So, um... I can right-click the bonsai tree whenever it's 100%, and I will get the loot from it. And it grows back. Okay. That is super useful. So, I can't create the automatic farm that I thought about, but I can create um, a bonsai farm. So, I am going to go off camera, and I'm going to go ahead and create a bonsai farm so I can get apples. Okay, so this was one of the longest grinds that I have ever done uh, for... Minecraft, mainly in general, this took almost uh, three hours, I believe, to get all of the resources and to get this base idea down. But it was 100% worth it. The What I was thinking of as far as a farm was, at first, I thought that the bonsai would naturally spit the items out. But it actually turns out that instead of spitting the items out, you have to go and harvest it. So that changed my idea a little bit into creating rows of bonsai farms. And all I have to do is is come down, start at the beginning of the row, just keep right-clicking as I go down. And by the time I reach the end, the beginning has fully grown so I can keep doing that. So instead of planting a tree, doing all of that work, and then having to break the tree, wait for it, all the leaves to go away so I can get the acorns and saplings. Instead, I can do it all just by the instant right-click. It's a little uh, less efficient when it comes to um, resin and uh, actually getting the saplings, because both are at a 5% chance, so they're very low. It's Actually, the resin's at a 10% chance, and the uh, sapling is at a 5. So you're very rarely going to get another sapling, but they grow back, so you don't need more saplings. So it was a very long grind, but it was 100% worth it. Um, one of the big things that I really started to notice was there was different types of soil. So dirt had a 50% grow rate and a 50% drop rate. Uh, and what that means is, is that you're only going to get 50% of what you could, and it takes twice the amount of time is what it would with just having uh, normal grass in there. A grass is like a bench line. So what I found out was there was mulch, um, brown mulch that I could make that had way better stats than the fertilized dirt that I was using. So that's why you see me uh, grind a lot on the uh, jungle trees. You make fertilizer with cocoa beans, what you would get from the jungle tree, and you make it into brown fertilizer. There are better fertilizers, and the best fertilizer is a blue, which has crazy dropping uh, grow rates. But those are made with machine parts, stuff like bioessence and uh, plant essence and stuff like that. Stuff that I just don't have access to right now. So, you know, yeah, it would be nice to have it, but that's going to be like a later thing where I can expand this farm to get ridiculous amounts of resources.
So it's 12 bonsais long, um, which is basically the perfect amount that I need with the bran mulch, because by the time I get to the uh, end of it, the beginning's basically done growing. So it was a lot of grinding. I mean, it, it was kind of like an exponential growth, because at first you start with one or two cl uh, clay trees, and you can, you know, it takes you about half an hour to get one bonsai pot. But once you start getting, like, five bonsai pots, six, then you start getting enough to where you only have to harvest the tree twice to get it, to get enough clay to actually make the bonsai pots. So once you start getting more, you can make more. It's an exponential growth. And just like the start of every exponential growth, it starts off slow. So the majority of it was just getting the baseline off the ground in being able to actually do what I wanted to do with the bonsai pots. But overall, I mean, the amount of wood resources and clay that I get is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really glad I did this, and I'm glad I discovered the bonsai pot. As I told you guys, I'm going into this completely blind. I basically downloaded this mod and then recorded it. So stuff like this where... I just literally have no idea that the bonsai pot even existed. It's going to happen, but eventually I am going to discover it, and I am so glad that I did discover it, because this is easily the best farm that you can make, at least that I know of right now. It's crazy good, crazy efficient, um, and it, it's just a great way to get cobblestone, to get all of the resources that you would ever need, so... Highly, highly recommend ever getting it. Okay, so... Jesus Christ. Uh, that took a while. Um, for you guys, it's gonna take just, like, a fraction of a second. But what, what I was planning on doing here, and what I still am, is... I found out that these bonsai trees give you the exact same drops, um, as a fully grown tree... But, all you have to do is right-click them with an axe, and it uses a little bit of durability and gives you the actual drops, the risin, the uh, acorns. So, all this is, is I go back and forth, um, and I collect all of these, and these just regrow. I don't need to plant them, I don't need to do anything. Um, so, yeah, this is, this was a lot of work, but... Oh my god, it's finally done. Well, I mean, mostly done. I want to do this for, like, all of the trees, so that we can, uh, we can just get them, like, as much as we want. Um, so, yeah. It was a lot of work, but we're gonna make all of this look good later. For right now, we're not really worried about aesthetics, especially with something like this. I want to give, like, a natural kind of, like, look to it, which I just don't... I... No. <laughs> just no. Um, so, yeah, but all of this is going. We're going to go ahead... Shit. Okay, everyone. Well, that was today's video. Uh, I had a lot of fun. So... This is actually going to be part one. Uh, part two will come out um, in a few days. I, I kind of like flipping, alternating between War Thunder and Minecraft right now. Uh, so yeah, the next video is actually going to be a part two where we make some very interesting progress. Whoop! Um, so yeah, you can kind of see on my mini-map there's, uh, there's a little bit extra. So yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and yeah, we're all getting through this together. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!